After the Gospels, most of what's written is by or about the Apostle Paul. The book of Acts takes up much of its record talking about Paul, and Romans through Hebrews are all letters written by Paul. So let's examine the missionary journeys of Paul so that we can better understand the context in which these letters were written. In Antioch, Saul, now also called Paul, with Barnabas and Mark began his first missionary journey. On the island of Cyprus, they preached the word of God in the synagogues of the Jews. And in Paphos, Paul strikes blind the wicked sorcerer Elimas, who was trying to lead others away from the faith. In Perga, for reasons that aren't very clear, Mark leaves the ministry and returns to Jerusalem. In Antioch, they used the Old Testament to show that Christ had come. Many Gentiles received the word, but the Jews reject them and expel them. In Iconium, many Jews and Gentiles believe, but certain Jews do not. There's a great division. Jewish rulers plan to stone Paul, and so they flee to Lystra. However, that does not save Paul. They heal a crippled man, and the citizens believe that Paul and Barnabas are gods. But not long after, Paul is stoned and left for dead. In Derby, after much success, Paul returns to Antioch, stopping at some cities to strengthen the members. And after returning to Antioch, they reported on their mission and abode a long time with the disciples. Paul's second missionary journey begins in Jerusalem with a council where it was decided what Gentiles must do to be good members. Paul then takes the news with others to Antioch, and with Silas as his companion, Paul begins his second missionary journey. In Lystra, Timothy joined the church and became a missionary companion to Paul and Silas. When they reached Troas, Paul had a vision directing him and his companions to go to Macedonia. The disciple Luke now joins the group. In Philippi, Lydia and her household were converted, but also Paul and Silas were beaten and imprisoned. After an earthquake shook the prison, the jailer and his family were baptized. Paul and Silas were released from prison and continued to travel through Macedonia. Jason, who was a kinsman of Paul, and others believed in Christ, but a mob arrested Jason. But Paul and his companions escaped. In Berea, Paul left Timothy and Silas and traveled to Athens, where he taught some Greek philosophers on Mars Hill. In Corinth, Paul was reunited with Silas and Timothy. Paul taught and labored there for a year and a half before he was arrested and taken before the Roman governor. During this time, 1st and 2nd Thessalonians were written. In Ephesus, Paul preached in the synagogue before returning to Jerusalem. After he saluted the church there, he returned to Antioch. Paul's third missionary journey begins from Antioch. Paul travels through and strengthens the church in Galatia. In Ephesus, Paul performed many miracles and the church grew. But the worshippers of the Greek goddess Dinah caused the people to riot against Paul and the Christians. Some were taken by a mob but later released unharmed. Paul remained there for about three years. During that time, the epistle 1 Corinthians was written. Paul traveled to Macedonia and, while there, wrote again to the saints in Corinth and also to the saints in Galatia. Paul then journeyed to Greece, where he remained for three months. He was about to sail to Syria, but decided to return through Macedonia first. From Corinth, he wrote his epistle to the Romans. In Troas, Paul restored the life of a young man named Eutychus. And in Miletus, Paul called for the elders of the church in Ephesus to join them, and he warned all of them against apostasy. He told them that he must go to Jerusalem for Pentecost, which he did. On the way to Jerusalem, he visited the saints in Tyre and Caesarea. 
Paul met with the church leaders in Jerusalem and then went to the temple where he caused a riot because of his testimony of Jesus Christ. He was arrested by Roman soldiers and taken to Caesarea for his own safety. While there, he appeared before Festus and Herod Agrippa II. Paul told them of his conversion, bore testimony of Jesus Christ, and they decided to send him to Rome for trial. While at the Fair Havens, they tried to launch to Phoenice to winter there, but a hurricane force wind pushed them around the island of Clauda and out to sea. Shipwrecked at sea, Paul and the others swam to the island of Malta, where Paul was bitten by a snake, but unharmed. Paul showed forth the power of God that was in him by healing many, and he and the others stayed there for about three months. Finally, Paul was taken to Rome, and he remained under house arrest for two years, but during that time, he wrote the epistles that we call Colossians, Philippians, Ephesians, Philemon, and Hebrews. Released from prison, Paul journeyed to Greece and probably revisited the saints there. He may have even preached in Spain. From Greece, Paul wrote his first letter to Timothy, and also a letter to Titus, who was in Crete. Paul was arrested again and sent to Rome for another trial. From there, he wrote again to Timothy, and this was Paul's last New Testament letter.